Hi, Breener. And hi, Charlie. Thanks for the follow. Hi, Drew. I'm just making sure everything works properly. Morning, Sherry. Manu. So, from last time, I did go back to Hospital 1 to get us the three stars. So we've got a little bit more money and a few more points to buy around with. So, I'll just show you around it at first because I reorganised it a bit, made it a bit prettier. Hi Alex, hi Manu. So yeah, I reorganised level one a bit to try and make it a bit more organised. So we've got the two reception desks. And we've got the GPs right at the entrance now with the ward next door. GP's office. Everything goes straight through now. We go straight from the GPs to the ward. And then we've got the other diagnosis rooms just over here. So managed to get this one up to three star just by popping plants and benches and stuff around everywhere. You might get Aaron Cam one day when I'm looking half decent. So at the moment it's hidden. Maintenance announcement. Bins will become full. But yeah, getting three star on this one got us basically just a new vending machine. So we now have salty snacks. Makes people extra thirsty. So yeah, you slam a load of these down, go end up buying more drinks as well. But this got us our three stars, so this was nice and organised and we're done with this one now. So, we'll head back to Hospital 2, where we're pretty much just starting off still. Ah, uh, they're adding Ireland into Assassin's Creed. Very interesting. Oh yeah, this is Hospital 2 at the moment. With our single GP's office. Which I might get rid of actually, because there's a room to put two down there. Really. And here's our newest thing, is our psychiatrist's office. With the psychiatry patients now. And all of our Freddie Mercury's wandering around. So these guys will be all over this level as soon as they're a new addition. And I'm sure I'll fight somebody. That's what somebody with light headed actually looks like. So last time I was playing, because it was a Halloween edition, they all had pumpkins for heads, but normally they have light bulbs. So what else do we need? I'm going to get the hospital to level 6. I'm going to get three patients cured in the PANS lab. So the PANS lab is set up over here already. So, we need to make it a little bit here, basically. Rest of it will come with time. Let's have a look. Took some more benches and stuff down. 
Yay, completed the challenge. So, 90 days without death. Made everybody a bit happier and we get a little reward from it. So they're always worth trying if you think you can do them. Yeah man, the, the organisation comes with practice. Like, I have played this game a few times before and someone has taken a shit on the floor. Dirty bastard. Oh, I know why that is, it's because I've not built the toilets yet. Better do that now. Uh, toilets. Maintenance announcement. Automated snack machines need restocking manually. Some sinks in. Yeah, Brina, we've got a... Uh... Halloween outfits. So I've dressed up a few of the workers. So some of them look like legionnaires, some of them look like werewolves. A couple of them are dressed up as like disco men and things like that. So. Maintenance announcement. Try and make this place a bit Some hand sanitizer in, because that stuff's always useful at the moment. Oh yeah, I'll knock gnomes as well just for the hell of it because they look funny. So now we can put gnomes down in the hospital. I've been informed that the local library is implementing we'll a stick new near policy the door, this like, week. Uh, Head librarian Penelope Stuffage, tired of so many people forgetting to return books, go. is That's threatening to sneak in. into our homes at night and recover any overdue volumes while we sleep. So if you find your breakfast cereals arranged alphabetically and shelved by fibre content, don't be alarmed. It's just Aunt know, Penelope it's... doing her job. Yeah, this game has a load of dumb stuff in it. Like, at the moment, I've got our assistant dressed up as Jerry from the Spice Girls. What else have we got? Why do you not have a costume? You should have a costume. Let's go for... There you go, I've seen as you were talking about Assassin's Creed while I'm a Viking. We've now got a Viking psychiatrist as well. Ah yeah, I'll do that. I'll usually pause for the narrator just because of how good the narrator is for the game. So we still need to get to level 6. So and in some more decorations and stuff. Do some stands and full of magazines and stuff. We got here. So Diamond, the assistant wants promoting. Makes her better at marketing. Quicker movement, that'll do. Barry Pigger, our Viking doctor. Movement, diagnosis, treatment, all good. But yeah, I think I'm definitely going to change this. Seeing as that there I means there's 31 people in the queue waiting to go to see this GP. So, pause, make it into two. Sell. Pick you up. Move you over there. Move you out of the way. And all these people waiting just to see the GP. So, how wide is it? One, two,
everybody loves being watched while being prodded and poked by a doctor. But yeah, we unlock the bookcase as well, so we can now have bookcases in rooms. These ones don't really help much, but you can get like diagnostic bookcases and things like that, which they can use as references and all sorts. Everybody gets a gnome. What else do we need? Stick some posters up. So yeah, they even go into detail with the posters. There you can see. I test thingy. One invalid item, what is it? Ah oh, yeah, it was the bench over there, that's all right. And then everybody's favourite function in this game, copy and paste. So now we have two GP rooms, we can double up the amount of people going through. Now, stick some more plants and benches down, make it look a bit pretty, give them some nice light. Is that any better, truer? Let's like turn the game music down a bit. There we go. Well, plonk down some benches for people to wait around. One of the things with this game is as well, you've got to use as much of the space as you can because they don't give you much. So you've got to try and squeeze it out as best you can. I think I'm going to need another janitor as well because those plants shouldn't be getting like that. So... machines in. Rearrange it a little bit just to try and get it equal. There we go. And go. There we go, that's much better. We got a few working for each room. Oh, how many doctors do we have at the moment? Three. Get another doctor and another janitor. So, psychiatry is a new thing on this level, so they'll show up a lot. So these are our existing ones. We've got two psychiatrists, and we've got one who specializes in general practice, specialist GP. So, this guy's got a lot of qualifications. Good at treatment, good at psychiatry, he's a decent GP, good stamina training. I'd like we can afford him as well. Of a butterfly, sleepily waving its charming, wings. unsure about nightshades. Yeah, Meanwhile, in the news today, the right to mayor has announced a 100% increase in our taxes. 
What about this one? Yeah, nausea inducing, but yeah, we're not having him. Okay. Cat over here. And uh, what outfit shall we give you? You could be a fish. There we go, we've got two GPs up and running now. That should get the queues down much quicker. So, also we can get another janitor, wasn't it? We got, you can deal with ghosts. People who can deal with ghosts are always useful. So, we've already got one of those. Got positive, hygienic, high energy. This guy's good at mechanics, maintenance, mechanics, maintenance. You can deal with ghosts. Play a lot, we'll get both of these guys. They both look useful. And I am making all of my janitors into wild wolves. There we are, all the janitors are wild wolves now. So we need two more patients secured in the PANS lab. We've got the level six, we've got the own two buildings. So it's just a case of waiting now. So Clementine Tingle has a mission for us. I've always wanted to see a large sum of money in person. I don't want to roll around it or anything. I'm not weird. I just want to look at it with my eyes. Yeah, nobody believes that. Everybody wants to roll around in money at some point. So, we could earn 100 grand in 90 days. It'll get us a few K points and plus 20% happiness. Let's go for it. Oh, he's not very well. Let's see if we can bump him up the queue a bit. Person C, uh, send him for treatment. This is something you can do as well. You get little indicators above people telling you how low their health is. So you can check up on them, you can see like how far they've been diagnosed, how happy they are, and your yeah, health 30%, so he's close to dying. And yeah, low hygiene, sniffles, health ward, needs a toilet, desperate for it. He's going to the pans lab as well. So yeah, sent him for treatment now. He'll be fine, Wayne, we can afford a death or two. It's the American healthcare system, it only costs them, it doesn't cost us. We've got another person for the PANS lab. 41%. You're still queuing for the GP. 69. Let's bump you up in the queue, I bet. This is Nigel Bickleworth. On Two Point Radio. Fear not, faithful listeners. Your favourite radio personality, Sir Nigel Bickleworth, is back. As much as I would like to quit this infernal booth forever, I just cannot deprive you of my wit. I take the responsibility of being your only source of intellectual stimulation very seriously indeed. More instantly forgettable melodies coming up next. So yeah, I do love the announcers in this game. So I am going to pause my mic just so you can listen to them because they're brilliant. Oh, we got someone dead. We're gonna get a ghost. No, no ghost. Health Inspector, Henry Jobsworth is back again. So the county's foremost health and safety inspector has informed us that he'll be visiting us for an inspection soon. Mr. Jobsworth has also included the following list as an attachment. Eggs, pineapple juice, carrots, Cheesy gubbins, eggs, fish fingers. It'll be arriving soon. A good report would help our reputation. I bet we've just attached his shopping list to something. But yeah. Oh look, another death. Oop. Do we get a ghost from this one? We do! So yeah. If you've not, none of you have not seen this yet. Occasionally when people die, they end up haunting the hospital. But you can get specialist janitors to deal with them. 
but yeah, Garth has just dealt with that ghost. Later on as well, you can all go all Ghostbusters and there's a machine you can trap them in to research them. But don't get that until much later on. He's repairing the pans and the hard. Is there anybody going to the light limit? Just in case any of you haven't seen the uh, animations for them yet. May's cousins is unwell looking for treatment. Diagnose and cure a patient. He's worth a lot of money, so we will watch for him coming in and then I'll prioritise him on everything. Oh, yet another death. Yeah, I should have made those toilets much earlier. They've all been waiting around. Should have split that GP much earlier as well. We have another ghost. Go on. Killed it. There's somebody getting their head replaced. There's our priority patient. Bump him up in all the queues. Come on. Our reception is gone. She wants to be on break. Get us a sec. Dull? No. High energy has potential to work for peanuts. Level 2 warbling. There you have it. Charming. Emotional, and we've got customer service. Let's get the one with the emotional intelligence. She will the most help. I'm delighted to say I will be giving a lecture at our local you. university on the topic of pretentiousness, namely how to do it correctly. Put you in disguise. Perhaps my contribution will put a halt to the there alarming decline in educational standards in our community. Oh. Henry Jobsworth is our health inspector. Where is our VIP patient? There he is. Mr. Bartholomew Trellis. Let's bump him up in all the queues, shall we? Staff challenge! Successfully completed the request and underground in 90 days. we sorted. Typical true, they never open when you need them. and earn him a bit of extra cash. Maybe he's just watching you come in through a... Runs off on his break so he can avoid you. I'll be honest, I did that a couple of times when I worked at Tesco. Like, there were certain customers I'd see coming who would complain all the time. And it'd always be the department I was on. So if I saw them coming, it would conveniently be my lunch break at that time. Or I'd have to go and check something in the warehouse. Yeah, he's definitely avoiding you then. <laughs> Who's in the ward at the moment? Nurse, oh yeah, that's where we put Manu the penguin. But yeah, Manu is in the game already. As a penguin. If anybody else wants to be in the game, just give us a shout.
Yeah, queues for GP are a bit long, but they're manageable at the moment. As long as we've got enough actually doctors to actually staff it, we'll be fine. Well, look, another death. Oop. We've got a ghost, watch everybody panic now. Janitor's right on it though. Jasmine Odyssey is back, and there's no getting rid of her. The hit album, Salivation, features unmissable singles like Oh No, Not Again. Oh no. You are right, Manu? I'll throw a raid or something your way when I'm done here, if you're already alive. And ain't no feeling like the feeling I feel when I'm feeling feelings. What is it you're doing today? Is it the shopping for presents and stuff? Stream Jasmine Odyssey today on Bungle Music. I've got the feeling. But yeah, this guy just wants us to cure 10 patients quickly. But yeah, that shouldn't be too bad. Oh look, somebody going into the pan, lab. It's an easy fix, choose a giant magnet. There we go. One star hospital done. Hospital is awarded a one star waiting by the two point health ministry. Like lightning, you've made a mockery of your detractors by striking a second time. You commended on your endeavours into the inner workings of machines and the human mind, respectively. Now focus on your budding two headed empire or add a third head by opening a new hospital in Flottering, as it's currently not much of an empire. And for this, it unlocks the new hospital. We get the new cardiology, which is a diagnosis room, and we get an upgrade to our pans lab. So, what do we need for a two star hospital? Upgrade two machines, get the hospital to level eight on three buildings. So, first of all, Attention. You're it's two unlocked, so that can get upgraded. Plop of cardiology down in here. More diagnosis is always good. There we go. There's your treadmill. Maintenance announcement. Plants need water. Stick a few decorations in. Whenever you've got a machine with a room as well, it's always good to have a fire extinguisher in there. Because if it does get to the point where it lights on the fire, the janitor will run to the nearest one. So you want one as close as possible. Stick a couple of posters down as well. Nurse, please go to the pharmacy. Ooh, we can get a wall monitor. And you can see this decoration as well increases treatment and diagnosis power so they're well worth getting you get a few things that do this so we'll get a wall monitor stick that in show your heart rate and everything full of expired medicine makes the room look more professional um doctor needed in psychiatry weighing scales they're just decorative punching bag yeah, look at the punching bag as well. That's now unlocked for You're listening to any of these Diggleworth. rooms. Or any of the rooms that can have a punching On bag in anyway. Radio. 
Isabel Foster and Camille Healthcare Kenya, Division is nothing but a load of hocus pocus hogwash, if you ask me. It doesn't take a brain surgeon to see the only thing they Why could get is brain nurses? watching. How many nurses do we have? Two. Yeah, we definitely need at least one, maybe two more nurses. To use up for hire. Ooh, you're good. Class clown shining likes to argue. Nurse to the ward, please. Pretends to have read that book so often than I think they might have. But look how good they are in the ward. Yeah, we'll have that one. You go in there. What else do we have? Carlton, who's decent in the ward and decent at diagnostics. Eric, decent in the ward. Treatment in the pharmacy and as emotional intelligence. Morning. Yeah, I wouldn't well, have been you. Short temper is a pain in the ass. Laura and Sasha, natural mentor knows where the party's at. But they're very good at treatment. Yeah, well, I've got rinse as well. There we go. Third, four nurses that should do. Make this area a bit prettier. Maintenance announcement. Automated snack machines need restocking manually. Expand later. Toilets as you would hope to find them, not as you would expect to find them. Oh no, another death. Good idea. No ghost or anything. And we pass the staff challenge. Ten people cured. So I'm thinking. We upgrade you yet? We have a janitor who can upgrade yet. That's more of a point. Staff. Janitors. Yeah, we do. I'm going to fight today, actually. Maybe we'll upgrade the light machine instead. And now for Sir Nigel Reviews, in which Sir Nigel reviews the new fitness center in Lower Bullocks, the Steel Buns Gym. I spent a very pleasant afternoon in the sauna, but did not care for the smells as one walks down the corridor. In short, I would stick with the perspiration spa in Grockle Bay. Special report. Oh, I forgot about the VIP patient. He died. Oh well. We're making plenty anyway, so we should be good. I'm thinking. Try and drop these GPQs a bit. Drop another one in. GP's office, go to the cardio. Attention, urinating anywhere in the hospital will not be Plop another psychiatrist down as well. We've got multiple psychiatrists, so we've got room. End of year approaching. 
now for the end of year awards see what we get if anything we're definitely gonna get not gonna get this one anyway Oh, nice! We got all of them apart from no deaths. Well, Doctor of the Year, won by Arrux. Does sound a good like a good launch, Truer. So, Nurse of the Year, we've got Clementine Tingle. Janitor of the Year, Garth Sparrow, he's our Ghostbuster. Assistant of the Year by Sue Diamond. So we've got the happiest staff and the best reputation. The most prestigious hospital with the best working environment. And the patient's choice, so... We were only missing out on the no deaths for that year. So quite a decent reward for us as well. We'll bump up our rep a bit. No. Make this area a bit prettier now, I've... Wait. Go back against the wall. Yeah, now I've added us uh, another psychiatrist, another GP's office to try and knock the queues down a bit. Benches. And then... Got this little alcove here. Got some vending machines down here, it's a perfect place for it. So we'll have drinks machine and salty snacks and a bin because people are lazy. That thing that just ran across the screen is a mono beast. You see them every now and then, they like to infest your hospital when it gets a bit dirty. It must be just because the janitors have been a bit lazy. It's pretty clean at the moment. Apart from that. But they do hide under stuff as well. Let's see if we can't pop any out. No. I don't mind telling you it's a bit nippy in the fields today. The heater is malfunctioning and the window no. is stuck in an open position. I have no choice but to engage in vigorous exercise. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah, if a mono beast does run around, you can shoot it. Doctor's GP's office. Oh, look at Rena offering to buy people food. Oh yeah, if any of you haven't noticed yet, there is a donate link on my channel at the moment. But it isn't a donate link for me. If you have a look down in the about, there's a charity across the UK. I think they, offer, they operate in a couple of other places as well called Mind. So I've just put a 100 term target through a site that goes direct to them. So it'll pop up on the screen that you've donated. But I can't get the messages to show yet, so I'm thinking if we do get any donations, I'll I'll read them out on stream or something. I'll pause the stream to do it. But it's only set for hundred pound, and there's no time limit on it. What I'm thinking of doing is, if it does reach hundred pound, I'll switch it over and just rotate through charities or something. So. Should be one of the pop-up boxes on there, I'll double check. Uh... Channel. Well, there should be three boxes on my about. Should show chat rules. There should be a follower list on there with the latest followers, and then there should be a donation box as well. 
Yeah, that'd explain it, sure. I think it only shows on, like, the desktop version of it. But yeah, there is a, a goal of just £100. I think when I reach £100, I'll just switch it over to a different charity or something. That is the plan for now. But I chose mine first because a friend of mine has worked there for a bit. And it's a, a non-profit, so they don't work for profit, they just work to help people as much as they can. And I know they've helped out a few friends of mine as well, so... If you can give anything, it'd be nice, but I don't expect you to. So, Sue Diamond has a mission for us. So Sue wants us to cure 20 patients in 90 days. I think we should be able to manage that send this guy for treatment. Are you already there? Oh yeah, he's already going for treatment. We're alright. Jasmine Odyssey is back and there's no getting rid of her. The hit album, Salivation, features unmissable singles like Oh No, Not Again. Oh, no, not again. And Ain't No Feeling Like a Feeling I Feel When I'm Feeling Feelings. With the rain, no feeling like feeling I feel when I'm feeling feelings. Stream Jasmine Odyssey today on Bungle Music. Yeah, it's like a an inbuilt box to it through us, so you can't really link to it. But it does it through the box because it's weird. I can work out a link to it, I'll put that on there at some point as well. But what are we waiting for now? Doctor Still need more doctors. How many do we actually have at the moment? Only got four doctors, yeah, we could do a couple more. Doctors, we have. Guy next door. He's custard once a day, and he's a decent psychiatrist, yeah, we'll have you. In fact, we've got enough of these now, I'm just going to change all of them to the same. So, make all the doctors. be some groovy 70s or 60s guys. Another doctor. June is hygienic, high energy and yeah, you'll do as well. So yeah, all the doctors look like Austin Bowers now. Penguins. I need to upgrade another machine. Nurse to cardiology. I need to own a third building, so I should buy this building here, even if I don't use it. So health inspector Henry Jobsworth. The country's foremost health and safety inspector has informed us that he'll be visiting us for an inspection soon. Mr. Jobs also adds that we'll recognise him by his yellow helmet as well as his face will be arriving soon. A new illness, Freudian lips discovered. Our doctors have discovered a new illness, Freudian lips. A tendency to pout excessively when faced with a camera, caused by a build-up of lewd thoughts in the cerebral cortex. Psychiatrists must use a subconscious tap to drain the excess thoughts into a beaker, after which they can be safely disposed of it in an incinerator. So we'll send the treatment, the patient with treatment in our psychiatry. I wonder if this actually shows up on people. You're awaiting diagnosis. Awaiting diagnosis. Automated snack machines need restocking. 
working manually. I have discovered the heater had been jammed with sodium snacks. No wonder it ceased to function. Third building I of suspect process. this is the work of that unhygienic anarchist, Build Harrison Wolf. Room, shall we? Words will be had, I assure you. Copy and paste. That'll get us all. Now arriving at the hospital. Upgrade. That'll be our two buildings upgraded. <laughs> That's a great idea, Trua. Just insult people constantly for being stupid. Give them all terrible nicknames. Please leave toilets as you would hope to find them, not as you'd expect to find them. <laughs> yeah, we're doing alright at the moment. Oh look, another mono beast running about. There, got it. So, I wonder if there's any more hiding around. Oh yeah, that's when I moved when I was rearranging this. You can go away. And yeah, the mono beast hiding under you. Got it. Maintenance announcement: Toilets need routine servicing. Oh, we just need you to finish upgrading and then we'll be a level 2 hospital. Uh, we failed the 20 patients in 90 days. We were close. Our doctors have discovered a new illness, potty mouth. When the patient opens their mouth, terrible things happen. Caused by drinking water from a toilet sink or a toilet. We'll send the patient for treatment in our pharmacy. Yeah. There we go, two star hospital. Congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a two star rating by Two Point Health Ministry. The organisation's lifespan continues to eclipse even the most daring predictions for our office wide wager. As you grow larger and procure new plates that require spinning, the inevitable crash draws nearer and nearer. Best not to think about it. And that's from Tarquin Foxbridge, the health minister. So, we got a bonus 20 grand cash, 150 kudos, and we can now upgrade the extractor pan to rank 2. So, I've got the rank 3, we need the hospital to level 10. Cure 20 patients, get a cure rate of 70%. Hospital attractiveness is 65%. So, what I am going to do, the rank 3 for the hospitals, I am going to do off screen because there's a lot of tweaking and like shuffling things around and stuff you have to do for the rank 3. So I'll do that off stream and I think we'll start the next stream with the new hospital but we've unlocked the third hospital so that does mean 
I am going to end the stream here, but just under an hour, but I wasn't planning on doing much today anyway. So there we go, this is our two star hospital work in progress. When I start the next stream, I'll come back and show you what I've done to upgrade this one and get it up to three star, but a lot of it is just tweaking and adding little bits and it's pretty boring, so I don't want to show you all that because you'll just get really bored. So I'm going to see who else is live now and raid them. Let's see who's on, shall we? Let's have a look here. Ah, it looks like Manu's gone live. So, we shall raid Koro Manu and see if she's got Mellow with her. You better do. Attention. It looks like she's shopping for Christmas stuff. So, will not be tolerated. see if I can get this to work properly. There we go. Welcome to Ready to Raid Coromano. I shall see you all. Presented by Uncle Kids. Bye everybody. And yeah, thanks for watching. Let's do some music while I find out where that noise is coming from. <laughs> <laughs>